actually not a toy store but it's like a little like corner in a mall Korean malls are a little different from how you know malls are in the United States but anyway so here are some of the toys I'm actually really pleasantly surprised to find some of these toys I see Lala Lucy minis and they also have mushkas how cool is that I did not expect to see mushkas here and I just love this display this is like an acrylic display case this is awesome I would love to have this for my hobby room look the frozen obsession exists in Korea too they have this um, like a little vanity this is like a mini vanity this is really cool and they also have I don't know if you can see it over there but they also have like a Hello Kitty themed little playset um, oh and they also have Doc McStuffins I wonder if they actually air this show in Korea haven't been able to watch any Korean TV though. See? <gasps> Doc McStuffin! And if you guys didn't know, they have this character called Pororo, which is really popular in Korea. Thing called Fiagijib, which translates to um, Chicklet's house or something, Chick's house. I think it's really cute and I would love, that's my friend, <laughs> and I would love to do a review on this. I'm going to ponder about it and if I end up coming back, I might get this, but this is actually pretty expensive. It's like $35. Um, it's it's really cute. And here you can see Frozen dolls. And they have the Frozen mini dolls here. And it's so expensive. Look, it's about $26 here. But everything gets you know more expensive when they get exported and imported into different countries. <gasps> Digibirds! They have Digibirds here. The wedding ones? <gasps> How cute! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at all these Gundams! I love Gundams! Like, I don't... I'm not too, too, too into them, but I love building one once in a while. They have Legos... Oops! Blocking everybody, whoops! <laughs> they have Lego City, Lego Chima, Ninja Go. I have to say they're kind of overpriced here, though. Ooh! Lego Friends, and they also have um, Playmobil blind bags here and they're about oh my gosh they're about like five fifty five dollars fifty cents here which is not that much of a difference because they're about four dollars in the states are you guys seeing this they have octonauts here they have octonauts <clears throat> excuse my voice I um, I have really hoarse voice today for some reason but they have octonauts here and the whole packaging actually is in English oh my gosh I was not expecting to find all these <clears throat> Jeez, my voice. Go bold. It's a little um, cartoon show in Korea, and it's really they have these like police cars that transform into robots and stuff like that. It's 3D animation, really, really cute. Used to watch this like crazy when I was in Korea, when I was working in Korea. They have the mini version too. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I was not expecting to film this little section. They have more robots. Not Dobot, but different robots here. And if you look over there, they have the little baby ones. They're called Robot um, Car Poly. Poly. Um, and they're really popular amongst like toddlers and little kids. They have um, Sylvanian, ba Sylvanian families, which is also known as Calico Critters in the States. These are very popular amongst little children, little um, girls in Korea. They're so expensive though! Oh, so expensive! Oh my gosh! So here they actually have knockoff Disney um, toddler dolls. The reason that I call them knockoff is because if you actually look at their face sculpt, you can tell that they actually used um, Disney animator doll Rapunzel's face sculpt. Right? Actually, they're really cute. I actually like this Elsa. Actually, I really like this Anna too. But they're so expensive. Oh my gosh! They're selling it for $53. Can you believe that? Nope, that's a no-go for me. I'm not willing to spend $50 on that. Check this out, guys. Oh my gosh, look at this display. On the top, they have Lego Friends, and on the bottom, the second level, they have Playmobil, and this setup is super amazing. They have all the fairy ones out. <gasps> so pretty. And here, they have the Jurassic Park-looking Playmobil ones. Oh my gosh. Can I just have this display case in my room? Like, that would be awesome. Okay, so now I'm actually in a different section. I'm actually in a bookstore right now. And they have this little corner where you can, like, get a lot of the blind boxes. 
as you can see most of them are imported from Japan I don't think they really have any blind bags or blind boxes in Korea I don't think the concept has really sunken in in this culture yet um, maybe they will make some later but they have this Rirakuma ones these are quite expensive I mean everything that gets imported in Korea gets overpriced uh, most of the time each bag is um, which is about six dollars six fifty um, US dollars I think I'm going to get some of these to open um, yeah because I've been wanting to you guys requested me to do some toy openings or toy reviews that I find in Korea so yeah and these are actually remints which is little miniatures many of you guys might already know about them they're really detailed miniatures and on this side they have other blind figures displayed and they have a lot of the anime based ones here here too they have a lot of one piece ones should probably get some one piece ones and open and here they have more of those blind boxes these are actually little guitars miniature guitars um, little instruments Hide, um, guitar collection and they have some okara which is very similar to remand they're also miniatures should really open these okay so I'm going to actually go through them and even if I don't buy any today I'm definitely going to come back and get some hi guys so I am in a store called home plus I'm actually in the toy section toy corner home plus is kind of like Walmart but much bigger they usually have like two three stories um, building I'm right now on level three and they happen to have this little toy corner and they have a lot of imported um, toys and they also have some toys that are only available in Korea from what I understand so I'm going to take you around in this store and give you guys a look on what they have here I think I'm going to try to give you guys like a full look this is not a very big corner think of it as like a corner of Walmart where they keep toys but as you can see they have some Lego Duplo and some Lego ones um, on this side they have Lego Chima and Lego Ninjago Lego Ninjago is also called Lego Ninjago in Korea but Lego Chima is called Lego Kima Kima in Korean I'm actually really pleasantly surprised that all these packagings actually have English descriptions I would you know you would think that they would translate things in Korean because they're getting imported in Korea but nope they're all in English and this is the section that I was like oh my gosh this looks really cool um, it's one of those that like I feel like I want to find these in um, Dongdaemun. I'm going to explain to you about Dongdaemun. The reason that I'm not really purchasing a lot of toys now is because we're going to um, go to this, what is it, um, wholesale market and they have a lot of toys much cheaper so I want to try to see if I can find these toys that I want there first and then if I cannot find them then I'll come back and get them and they have this um, their blocks called Oxford blocks and they have Isun Shinjangun if you have watched the movie called um, Myeongnang these sets are actually based around that historical figure which is really cool and you know they're really big and they're quite expensive this set is about $60 but um, if I were to bring anything back to the United States, I want to be able to bring back something that, you know, I know I cannot find. <laughs> Happy kid. <laughs> um, so I want to be able to bring back something that I know I will not be able to find in the United States, right? And these, I, I feel like one of these would be a good one. And then this set right here is based around a Korean um, reality show called Jinja Sanai which is about you know like all these like actors they actually go through the military system again which is pretty cool and they have the Hello Kitty ones up here on this side they have toys based around um, a show called Larva which is a hilarious show if you I think you can actually look it up on YouTube it's like very short they are usually about like a minute or two and these are the characters from Larva um, there are two major doll lines in Korea. One is Juju and one is Mimi. These are Juju dolls. Um, these are here are the Juju dolls. I personally am not a big fan of Juju, but they have some really cool like play sets and like play accessories. Very princessy. Oh my gosh guys, I'm totally drooling over this. How cool are these Gundams? Oh my gosh, okay. 
see, I am like refraining myself from like getting all these things because I want to go to that domain, um, uh, domain, uh, um, wholesale, wholesale market first before I purchase anything. But yeah, this is probably the part that I would have gone crazy if I was here about two years ago. <laughs> and here are the Mimi dolls. Mimi's been around for like ever. These were around when I was yay little too. So we're going to take a look at some Mimi dolls. Here are some Mimi dolls. And these are the little Mimis. This one is um, Alice in Wonderland. I'm not sure which one this is. But this one is Rapunzel. They also have this little set with the doll and little accessories here too. If I were to buy anything and bring with me, I would buy this one. This is Mimi in Korean traditional clothes called Hanbok. Obviously, this is not the very, very, very most traditional outfit because Korean traditional outfits are supposed to be really long and have long sleeves. So this is like more of a fusion style, which I think is really beautiful. I'm probably going to get one of her at least um, and bring with me when I go back to these states. And these are some of the other Mimi dolls. And this is one of the things that I am definitely going to look for when I go to the wholesale market. It's one of those things that I don't think you can really get from other places. These are called cannibals and they're basically little animals living in little cans. And they're so adorable and this is based around an animation that was created in Korea. I don't think it's like a big series. I think it's like little shorts. They're so cute and so like inside you get three cannibals and this house. It's one of those, um, I want to get this set and review it for you guys because I feel like it's just really adorable and I think a lot of you guys will like it and I just really want to, you know, show a lot of toys that are in Korea. Um, here are some other things and I showed you this set earlier, well before, the day before I think. Um, this is another thing that I would love to bring with me. Digi birds. Personally, I don't really know anything about Pokemon, but these are so cute. I think these are called Pokemon XY. Yep. And these are the characters from it. Um, they're so adorable. They're so small. Can you see? Comparison to my finger. They're so adorable. Like, it makes me feel like I want to learn about po Pokemon XY and get some of these. And they also have these little play sets, which I am planning on getting one of these. And reviewing it for you guys. This one comes with little two two little figures and a little like a playground set. And they also have little ones with accessories here. They have this tiny, tiny, tiny My Little Pony section, which is only two shelves. So they have the little um, Rainbow Power ponies here, the brushables, and they're about eight ninety, which is you know more way more expensive than what you pay in the states. But it's not as much as I thought it would be. I thought it would be at least like twice as much. This is actually you know what it is actually twice as much. Never mind. And they also have this one. So they're not completely up to date and they have um, Crystal Princess Palace. I don't think they have Twilight's Rainbow. They do! They do have Rainbow Kingdom here. Uh, if they had um, the Wedding Castle, I would have gotten it because it was one of those sets that I kept on pushing it off and then I never got it. Anyway, here's a tiny My Little Pony section. Plushies here. Um, in Korea, they don't have a Disney store. So um, these Disney plushies are sold in stores like this. They have Stitch here. Oh my gosh, I'm probably gonna get him because I love Stitch and I collect Stitch. They have Alien here. They have Chupa from One Piece. Um, One Piece is actually a really popular show here too. It's a Japanese anime, but it's very popular. Oh my gosh, I want these. I feel like if you put a, if you make the straps longer, that would be perfect for American Girl. Oh my gosh, I want one of these. Ah, oh, so cute. Chopa plushie! I want Chopa plushie so bad! Oh. Larva, oop! They have Princess Anna, the little baby one. Here are some other, you know, Disney related stuff. And I have never seen this set before. Have you guys seen this set? It's called um, Royal Sisters. I have never seen this set before. Are these new? You guys let me know. Oh my gosh, I have never seen this set at all. So that's pretty much it for Home Plus. I'm going to go home and edit this for you guys and share it with you guys because you guys have been really asking me to share these kind of videos with you guys. With you, I kept on saying with you guys. Guys, 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 guys everywhere. Um, yeah. Ooh.
Magic clip. Magic clip. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy following this little toy. I don't even know if I don't. I don't think I should call it toy hunt, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little toy like search browsing thing. Um, I'll be back with more videos in Korea, sharing with you guys. Um, see you guys later. Bye.